Hi, hello, and welcome to atpostingtools.com. Um, today I'm going to show you how the photo image uploader for Instagram works. So, the first thing that you have to do is to purchase the software. You will see all the 140 modules that we have. So, you have to go to the Instagram section in the posting menu, and then you have to go to the Instagram photo uploader. Um, so, here you see what the program looks like. So, first thing, you have to put your login information. In this case, you have two options to log in. You can option, uh, you can uh, log in either with your Facebook account or with your Instagram account. In this case, I'm going to log in with my uh, Facebook account. So, now, in order to log in, the first thing you do is open Firefox. This will open Firefox, uh, so you are able to log in into, into Firefox. So it's here. So once you log, once you open, uh, just make it a little bit smaller, and then you click on Facebook login or Instagram login, depending on if you have your Instagram account. So this is going to open Instagram, and it's going to log in uh, for you your information so now it's going to copy your username and password and then it's going to click login and there you go you are logged into Instagram okay now that you're logged into Instagram uh, what you have to do is you have to start adding your images here in this case you could put new image then you select browse and you select the image that you want. In this case, uh, I'm going to just choose this one, for example. Uh, all picture. You could put whatever you want. You could put products, you could put services, you could put anything that you want. So that's option one. Then what you could do is save this. And then you will have an Excel file with uh, two different uh, like uh, two, two different columns image URL uh, or image path and the caption. So you could modify that Excel file and add all your information there. So the next time you could just click import, browse Excel, uh, select the file that you want, and then import it and you click use these images and all the images will load here. Now, um, so far we have one image. Uh, there is like one final option. I'm going to erase this because we're going to use the same uh, the same folder. So you click on import from folder. So here you select browse. You select which folder you want. My folder is 1A images. Then you could put a spin text here. Uh, you could use this a spin text and you could put create Amazing. Wow. Then you generate the spin text and copy that. So these are basically multiple variations. You could use that many times or whatever. And then uh, you could put get in folder. So basically it's going to choose one of these options. If they are very close together or whatever, it's going to choose it multiple times because it's all random. But if, if you select this, uh, like this, the picture will show up here, so you could change it. So, all picture. Then you could use it like another one. You could put uh, long hair. In this case, you could put anything that you want, the description of your product, the description of uh, your service, uh, links to your site, so you generate traffic back to your site. And then you just uh, modify everything that you have to modify, and then you click Import Now. So same thing as before, you could just select this, or you could change the text that you have here. So now you have two options, uh, finally. So you could post the selected image, or you could post all the images. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to show you how to post all the images. If you click here on Post All the Images, and this is going to go to Instagram, and then uh, basically, you copy, you click on here on the Instagram uh, web browser, so it's going to do everything for you. So now it's going to click on Add New Image on the bottom, on the on the uh, on the bottom, the Add button. 
and it's going to paste the URL and it's going to click on upload. So now it's going to click on next. All, all this is done automatically. You can choose whatever thing you want to upload or whatever, whatever product service. So it's going to be pasting everything for you. It's going to be pasting your captions and then it's going to click uh, share for you. And it's going to keep doing that until it finishes uploading all your images. Uh, once it posted one, it's going to remove it from the list. So it means, it means that it's been posted. So then it's going to go and select a new image. It's going to click on new one again. And it's going to post it there. So now you copy the image URL and then it, you click open. So you could prepare this file and then just let it upload in in whenever you are away. So the ad is going to be posting all your images for you. You could even select a time between post. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, basically, you have to go to the settings and modify the timer that it's there. And we are going to do it for uh, for the for to, to show you how that will work. Um, this is the last image. Basically, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to go click add new image, and it's going to upload it. So place the image there, the image path, and then it click open. And then click next. And then it's going to um, paste the the caption, and then it's going to share it. And then it will share it, and then it's going to finish. So at this point, we uploaded all our three images, and basically it says that finish posting all the images. So if we go back here in the settings, I told you that you could change the, the the time between the images, but it seems that you can't. So I'm going to add a new a new option here to check uh, how much time between images there is, uh, so you're able to change it. But for now, uh, you will be you will have to select this this time. Uh, so basically that's how it works guys, you, upload, you, you log in with your, you open Firefox, you log in with your account, you import all the images that you want to upload, you click post all images and then it's going to go and post the images for you. When you click post all images, remember to click here on Firefox, so Firefox get the focus and so it can actually fill out everything because it's, with, it's, it's going to use the copy-paste function there. So just remember that Firefox have to have the focus when it's posting. And so that's how it works, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye for now.